in roughly half ten. After Salat Maghrib and some food, half ten we will be uh, closing this uh, hall. So we would like to urge everyone, reminding myself again, if everyone before we depart, for us to really take the opportunity uh, to upgrade ourselves, to learn about our religion, uh, embrace our religion fully. Udkhulu fi silmi kafah, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned in the Quran and Hadith, for us to enter, for us to embrace, uh, be serious in this religion, and we can't do that without understanding the need of our Islam. So we need to learn, in other words, one of the biggest acts of ibadah that were neglected by Muslims nowadays is Talibul Alim, to seek knowledge. Uh, seeking knowledge is one of the biggest ibadah uh, of all times. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran al Karim, uh, the, the, our, our first revelation of the Quran al Karim is all about read, iqra, it doesn't make any sense. For us to neglect the main objective of this religion to upgrade and to uphold uh, the, the intellect to make us understand embracing this religion with understanding, with knowledge we can't salah with khushu a lot of people asking how can we do khushu in salah how, what do you understand in salah? we don't understand about salah we don't understand we've been praying for many years we don't understand the meaning of Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, Subhana Allah, Rabbi Al-Firli, Warhamni, Wajiburni, Warzuhni, Warfa'ni, Warzuhni, Wahdi. Many are du'as. Salah is du'a. If we don't read, if we don't learn, if we don't get the knowledge, how can we khushu in salah? If we don't read how, or learn how to read Quran, how can we understand Quran? This is very crucial things that we should push ourselves when we are healthy, when we have time, we have strength to put an extra effort to learn, study about our religion, understand, deepen our knowledge in all the rituals. So there will be connection. There will be connection when we salah. There will be connection when we do dhikr. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. There will be connection when we do Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? Who are the family members of Muhammad? What's the benefit of Muhammad? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was here, passed away, what's the meaning of his passing? So we need to engage. We need to understand. It all back to our effort, determination in seeking knowledge. We can't be a good Muslim. We, can, we cannot be a good mu'min, believer towards Allah. How can we believe in something that we don't understand? So back to knowledge, back, back to the most fundamental in our religion is Islam is all about ilm. So learn, learn, go find out about where can you learn about your religion. We can't read Quran. Start reading Quran. Learn Alif, Ba, Ta, Sajim and start Quran. Learn, understand about Salah. Upgrade, memorizing Salah. This is very basic. So I would like to ask everyone to participate uh, this campaign. The campaign to help Muslim, which is ourselves, the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to be better. We don't complain, we can't complain if our brethren out there are being bullied. If we don't, at home, we don't teach our children, we don't understand about our ritual and all, understand about our, our religion. No. Understand the whole meaning, the concept of Islam, the way of life. Start with understand about Allah, learn Tawheed, read Quran, learn Hadith. Memorize the names of the family members of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his wives, his children. Engage with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam properly. It all needs effort and time. Read and learn. This is the biggest ibadah. 
that we are neglected. No wonder our ummah, which is us, been bullied. People bullying us. We are not happy. But when we show that we are not happy, it just was one week, two weeks of sanction or boycotting. Then what happened? We should uplift our own ignorance. Learn about our religion. Be truthful in our religion. Engage with Rasulullah Sallallahu Quran. We are Ummah Quran. Quran is Quran reading, recitation and understanding. So be truthful to become Muslims. So this is the whole purpose of us coming together. It's not one off. Yeah? So I urge myself with this the Hijjah, end of the year. Next two weeks we will be meeting New Year. Next year. The next two weeks is Muharram, New Year in the Islamic calendar. It's not January. So what's your aim that you, we want to achieve 1,445 of Hijrah? Start thinking from now. Be serious with our religion. Allah will open the door. Man amila salihan dhakarin wa unta wa huwa mu'min fala nuhiyannahu hayatan tayyibah Make this as our formula in life. Allah says, among mu'min, men and women, if they serious, amal salih and mu'min, Allah make their life easy. That's what we are looking for, isn't it? We work hard because we want to have a good source of income and set stable with family members. Uh, education, we all know about that. We want to go holiday, weekend, we can go out. It's all about dunya, it's good. But it, it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises for us to have a good life. Start with Amal Saleh. Man Amila Min Kumin. Man Amila Man Amila Min Kumin Zakarin Al Unta. Man, woman, Mu'min, Sharaf. The first condition. Number two, Amal Saleh. Allah promises, We will make sure your life will be prosperous. The best in dunya. But we need to, we can't do, go anywhere. He's the provider. The provider said, Mu'min, and then Amal Saleh. If we can't achieve Mu'min, we can't be a good Amal Saleh. If we don't understand, if we don't read, so start learning. Bismillah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us, to open our heart, to open our mind, and make us easy to do good deeds, and make us understand how to become a good servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our gathering And make this as a, not the end but the start Of a new chapter in our life Become a better person Become a better mu'min Become help the ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh
fill your weekend light with lights and welcome. Uh, your final chance to get some final special rewards of not just the reward of attending, but the reward of facilitating the majlis. Please help us clean up. The food was tasty, but that food had rice in it, it had oil in it, and that is now everywhere. So please help us tidy up. The room next door, there is a photograph on the wall which shows how this room should look. Everyone should look at that photo, memorize the photo, and make this room look like that photo. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.